Have you ever pondered over the existence of the soul and how it impacts our thoughts? Can we consider the soul as a vessel that carries our thoughts, or perhaps is it the other way around? In the vast cosmos of our mind, thoughts are like wandering stars. They appear, they shine, and eventually they fade away. But where do these thoughts originate? What gives them their light? Let's delve into the realm of the soul and thought. Picture the soul as an ocean. Its depths are profound and mysterious, filled with entities yet to be discovered. Our thoughts, on the other hand, can be seen as the waves on this ocean's surface. They rise from the depths, exist for a moment, and then dissolve back into the vastness from whence they came. Every wave is unique, just like every thought we conceive. The soul, this ocean, is a reservoir of our experiences, feelings and perceptions. It's the unseen, the intangible essence of our being. It's the canvas on which our thoughts paint their diverse, vibrant and often bewildering pictures. Our thoughts, these waves, are the dynamic expressions of this essence. They are the tangible manifestations of the soul's intangible reality. They are the soul's language, its way of communicating with the external world. However, the relationship between the soul and thought is not a one-way street. Just as the soul influences our thoughts, our thoughts in turn shape our soul. Every thought we entertain, every idea we contemplate, every belief we hold leaves an imprint on the soul. It's like a pebble thrown into a pond. It creates ripples that spread out and alter the pond's surface. In this cosmic dance between the soul and thought, the two are not separate entities, but different aspects of the same reality. They are intertwined, inseparable, influencing and being influenced by each other. So, to answer the question posed at the beginning, it's not about whether the soul carries our thoughts or our thoughts carry the soul. It's about understanding that they are two sides of the same coin. They coexist, co-create and co-evolve, forming the intricate, fascinating tapestry of human existence. To summarize, the soul can be seen as an ocean, a reservoir of our experiences, feelings and perceptions. It is the canvas on which our thoughts, the waves, paint their diverse pictures. The relationship between the two is reciprocal, with each influencing and being influenced by the other. They are not separate entities, but different aspects of the same reality, coexisting, co-creating and co-evolving in the grand scheme of our existence. In the end, the exploration of the soul and thought is not just an intellectual exercise, it's a journey into the depths of our being, a quest for understanding ourselves and our place in the universe. It's a voyage into the heart of what it means to be human. Remember, the soul and thought are like two dancers in a cosmic ballet, each influencing the other's movements, creating a mesmerizing spectacle that is our existence. So, the next time you find yourself lost in thought, remember, you're not just thinking, you're dancing with your soul.